Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy, and this is Let's Play on the Felsburn map. Uh, let's try and get on a horse. Vanity, vanity. How many percent is vanity? Vanity is zero percent. So we can go ride her. I think it's her. So last time <laughs> I was really surprised that the steering steering still worked when I tabbed in and out of the game. Um, Immediately after uh, having um, out of the game to uh, to start um, to end the OBS software, just turn it off the recording software. It uh, locked the steering wheel again, so it didn't work then after that. So unfortunately, we're back to. Well, if I don't do anything, if I don't tab out of the game, it seems to work without much problem. But as soon as I tab in the game, it's a problem again. I don't know. I should probably post something in the forums about it. Or look into the forums. Maybe there's something else posted by other people there. But we'll see. So today we're going to exercise the horses. Which is basically the plot for this episode. Maybe not the most fun, fun of jobs, but it's an important job. I'm just going to go in. I was trying to get my daughter to help me out exercising horses, but she didn't want to. She's just lying in the sofa watching her iPad. So um, that's why I have a, a Freya over there. That's not that's not doing anything. Still. It takes, f for me alone, it takes 40 minutes to exercise all the horses. If we're two, it takes 20 minutes, so it's a lot, it's a time saver if we, more than, if I'm, if I'm not alone, it saves us quite a lot of money, uh, not money, but time. And um, the horses has, have been a pretty good deal. I mean, they don't use, use a little bit of oat, some straw, some hay and some water that's it and even th it does take quite a lot of time because i mean what is it like five percent so get to hundred percent you need let's see start out at five percent so you need f uh 95 percent so nine uh, it's not ten nine Nine times, no, popular. It's one hundred percent, and it's five percent per time. Then it's um, twenty times, right? So nineteen times. So you need to write these nineteen times. Nineteen times, forty minutes is. Oh, I need a calculator. Sorry. <laughs> Ten times forty minutes is four hundred minutes. Uh, so uh, forty minutes less than that is six uh, for three hundred and. 60 right so 360 minutes it's like six hours or so right I can't do the math in my head I'm sorry I can do it outside here so nine times 40 minutes that's 360 minutes divided by 60 yeah it's six hours so my my head head calculus was correct actually. So six hours. It takes six hours to get these horses up to a uh, hundred percent, and where you can sell them. So six hours of riding around this plot, basically. So if you're two two people doing it, then it's three hours. So a lot less time. And three hours to get, uh, or uh, we'll go six six hours to get. 400,000 almost minus the investment of buying the horse is a pretty good deal. We don't, I could sell them earlier, but no, it's okay, dude. And um, looking forward to selling some pigs. I don't think they're as great of a deal. I think this is a pretty good deal. I mean, 400,000. What's that? Four hundred thousand minus eight. Let's see, four 
400,000 minus 40,000 360,000 divided by 6 like 60,000 euros per hour of work and that's pretty good I think I think that's pretty okay vanity is almost a hundred percent we're gonna go and do the beast next because beast wasn't really on that full my little dog there which my daughter insisted of having but now she doesn't want to play the game so we just have a dog there try placing it somewhere else it doesn't really can really work find a good place vanity is a hundred percent just write it in here Trying to figure out which one is the beast. We need to clear this. It's the beast. We just gonna write it until it's up to a hundred. Oh, sorry. I do like the. John Deere here. Um, we'd like to try and do some more contracting work. This start yesterday. I started. Out, I was wanted want to make a lot of money, so I got this contract, which was for twenty seven thousand, and it was picking up potatoes from field field ten, I think, which is quite big. And I played for like half an hour, and I was like twenty percent. I was like, I'm not doing this. It's good money, but it's such. A just so much work. So I stopped. And the beast. And my daughter wants to play Minecraft instead. Let's see, I'm gonna go in. Oh, I'll just get one. Uma. Uma has zero percent, so you can go do Uma. Oh. It's a little tight this gate here. I'm just gonna go I'll be right back, I'm just gonna go and help my daughter start Minecraft. So sorry about that. Um, where are we? Um, so they're playing Minecraft and it's bugging the hell out of my Xbox. We have an old Xbox 360. Uh, I don't know people like there's no games coming out for Xbox 360. I think anymore. But it works okay. Um, the biggest problem is we're scared that they're gonna break the controllers, my kids, because sometimes they don't take care of their stuff and keep and are careful with it so th that's for me the biggest problem that I think they might just destroy their controllers and then it's screwed um, but they, they had Minecraft and stuff on the game on the game and that seems to be working pretty okay um, so 
we would like to buy Xbox uh, One, but that's not happening. Watched it. It costs like five o over five grand Swedish kroners, five thousand Swedish. Kroners. It's like so much money. I cannot not. Well, it's not. It's, it's the amount of money we spend on food each month, we, and we spend a little money on food. Talking to other people, they spend like twice the amount of money, and sometimes more on food. And we like okay. I, w I could never live, we couldn't afford to spend that much money on food. So much money we need to... Well, exp it's expensive living. Uh, so, um, well, I couldn't justify spending that sort of money on, on a game consoles, and then you need to buy games for more money and that sort of stuff, so... And they, they... The Xbox 360 works. And it's a nice console. It works. It's not slow. We don't. I mean, the games are adapted for that one. So, I was listening to one of the episodes before they released FS19, and it was interesting. Interesting to l listen to the people, the guys who work in there, and the, the the. I mean, the console version is interesting because you you intuitively know exactly what sort of performance you will get out of it. So. If you release it for Xbox One, it will be work work for all Xbox Ones because they're the same, same CPU, same everything, same GPU, everything is the same on those machines. But if you want to play um, on when you release it for computers, that's a whole new set. Of <laughs> that's not the same because there's lots of different things now. They are king and my kids, oh dear. Um, because computers are so varied, varied in their types and, and that sort of stuff, so... Ninety-three... Am I on Uma? Maybe should I should add that so I can see which horse you're on. Nu spelar jag in, nu får du vänta! It's amazing. She did something on Minecraft, which I have no idea what she did or how I'm gonna fix it. And they keep yelling for me to come fix it. Like, I don't know how to fix that. Sometimes they know much more than I do. Okay, so that's done. Hundred percent. Let's see, uh, night. Which is night? That's not night. Is this night? Clean, clean room. Yeah, we can clean room. You're moving. Right night. Okay, here we go. Um, so that's a, I mean, that's the difference between computers and the console version of FS19. That on console version, they know exactly what sort of performance it'll get. And they can construct the game accordingly, uh, but with with uh, computers it doesn't work that way. You can sort of have minimum specs and work out. Oh dear! I'll be right back. Send them to their rooms. Um, kids are lovely, aren't they? Sometimes, like, oh dear. Someone did something towards that one, so. And they woke up like I don't know, five o'clock in the morning. Because we do need this, like, little Santa tr pranks. My, my, my fiance is doing, like, sort of like a Santa prank, which means that she has uh, invented small Santa which has a small house and he does pranks so he did some pranks this morning so he came up like oh Santa stole our present because I have this, this like a um, calendar in return for 24 
uh, small bags of stuff with which you get until Christmas Eve and because we celebrate Christmas Eve in Sweden not Christmas Day and so <laughs> the Santa stole number two uh, the number two present and so they discovered that and then they discovered a letter which he read so he said because they gave him candy yesterday so he said I don't like candy I like cookies and milk but they could misread it so because they're six so my daughter read it they, I like shrimp and milk <laughs> like we need to get him shrimp shrimp and milk I was like I don't think he wants shrimp I think he wants cookies so anyway um but um as we were uh, anyway so they found this earlier so they they came to us at like five o'clock talking about this it's like go away we want to sleep it's in the middle of the night so so that's basically the biggest reason why i sent them to bed now isn't the fact that they were arguing i think they need to sleep a little bit longer or rest and they can't rest because they keep getting into arguments because they're tired so it's like a catch-22 deal they keep arguing and they keep getting in fights and they need rest and then can't rest because they keep and you say yeah you get that yeah. um so um i sent them to bed after i'm stopped recording we're going to go talk to them about the way they should act towards each other which i think should be better than it is Very nice scenery. Very nice scenery. Eight hundred eighty six. Why is eight hundred? I do need need to do some contract work work to get some more money. Nice horsey. Nice horsey. Night is nice horsey. I think. Uh, what else is going on? Not much else is going on. I'm working. So I took a break from school, so I passed all of my exams. I passed the law exam. I don't know if I talked about that. Then I passed it, but I did pass the, the exam. I had on law, so that was good. I got B. Uh, the scale in Swedish uh, universities is E through F, and A is the best, and F is fail. So E would have been pass. So uh, I got a B. So that's good. Definitely good. Um, no one cares about grades after work, after university. It's like um, in university, it's like, oh, I should get a good grade. Um, but in Sweden, when you go to work, no one. I have never been to a uh, hiring interview, job interview, where they ever asked me uh, what kind of grade I got in at university. Never. Maybe that's different in other countries and where the competition is higher, fierce, more fierce, or where just a social construct is that you should get good grades but uh, in Sweden pretty much I guess at some point if you started law you probably need a good grade to get a good position in a good firm but otherwise ah, no one cares so let's see uh, sex is, is a brown horse with brown legs I think this one yes if I had my daughter here, she could help me with this tedious work. Um, but as I said, otherwise, I mean, they don't really care about... Uh, as I said, I never had a job interview where anyone ever even asked me about my grades at university. Uh, they never even asked me about what sort of... Ex um, you do um, like a thesis, not like a doctorate thesis, but a... Uh, I have a bachelor's degree, so I but I studied up to master's level, so I actually have passed 
the course that would give me a master's, but I didn't have enough credits to get my master's. So I, I've studied psychology up to master's and taken my master's, but I can't get my master's because I didn't have enough credits when I did that. Now I have enough credits, but they changed the whole university system. They adapted it to the uh, EU after I studied first time around. So I can't really, <laughs> I tried a few years. I went to the university and asked them about if I could get my master's out, if I could get my master's degree, because it basically did everything I need to do get it but since they changed everything around suddenly m the courses I took and my master didn't count anymore so uh, I studied psychology which is really bummer I studied psychology up to and past my master's but I don't have a master's degree um, which is, 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 I don't know it's a weird system if I I don't know if I could put some more effort into it maybe I could get it and pass it somehow I don't know but um, I don't know it could be cool to have a masters but um, I don't um, but anyway so I did study up a, so I did a masters thesis and a bachelor's thesis uh, so um, but at none of the job interviews I ever had, not even the first job I had, which was as, as a psychology teacher at upper secondary school, um, uh, upper secondary school, uh, so like high school equivalent maybe. Not even there they asked me what sort of thesis I wrote, so um, no one cares, at least not in Sweden. In Sweden it's not important. Maybe in some lines of work, but most n most lines not so much. Because the work life is so complicated that it doesn't really you you are not specialized. You not get you don't get hired because I I wrote like on um, the subject of group cohesion uh, between different um, different work groups, uh, and, and the difference was the uh, ratio of uh, female to male. So male domi dominated, female dominated, and uh, mixed groups. And if there was a difference in between in on group cohesion between these sort of groups, which there isn't, and the the, the research I found that at that time that's that's like fifteen years ago, more f twenty. Oh, it's a long time ago. Um, back then mm, there were no evidence of, of any difference. And I, th I think that still holds today, even though I don't quote me on that because I'm not an expert anymore. Um, but uh, the idea is that some that female group, m m like female dominated group, would uh, be worse off than male dominated group, but that's not true. Not at least in when it comes to group cohesion. Anyway, long story. Um, I don't even know where I started. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. I don't know where I started. But, um, well, anyway. Here we are. Riding around our horses. Let's see, so that was Xerxes, so 88%. And then we have just Gizmo left, which is the white horse. And then we can actually fast forward until next day. See if we get around to harvesting our beans, which we need to give to our pigs. Oh, something froze. I wonder what happened. Um, so we need to harvest our beans and then we need to plant some corn, but we don't have a corn planter, so we need to get one of those, preferably. Now it's hundred percent. So it went like not I don't wanna be doing this anymore. I guess most of the ones left. Oh. Um I'm gonna stop recording now. Twenty five minutes, um We'll see what we'll do next time. Hopefully, maybe we'll get around to 
to using our combine or will or something. Um, have some more pigs maybe we can sell. So the idea is to grow pigs and sell them basically and earn money that way. Um, we'll still still keep our question work uh, line of work as our main source of money, i.e. the horses and their training. But well, that's about it. And we thank you for watching. If you hope you enjoyed this episode, I don't think I think it's fifteen, uh, fif fifteen, on uh, Felspan map. Uh, for farming simulator 19 i'm andy if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this episode please hit like button leave a comment or share and i will see you soon take care everyone and enjoy your day bye bye